What's up guys? Hey everyone! We're deciding to kick off the vlog a little bit later today as you guys can probably already tell because it is dark outside. But first of all you guys, we <laughs> have missed you guys! We have missed you guys. It has been a busy week for us. We've just been trying to catch up on a lot of work stuff. Oh, I've had some tech conferences that I've been going to. Some conferences. <laughs> <laughs> no guys, we have had some busy things come up which a lot of them we will be sharing with you coming up this week. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. I actually got to listen to Mark Zuckerberg speak yesterday, which is really cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. Kind of big life updates, you guys. We're going to share with you guys. We've kind of been thinking about it, but we feel like we are going to share this with you guys. So stay tuned for that. But oh, tonight, yeah. we are excited. We're doing a little date night. We are doing a little double date night. Double date night. <laughs> we are meeting up with my little brother, Brett, and his wife, Maddie. And we are going to head to dinner. We're going to a Japanese steakhouse where they cook in front of you, which those are our favorite because oh. it's like a dinner and a show. Seriously, I want one of those hibachi grills. In fact, <laughs> who else wants a hibachi grill in their house? And if you do have one, comment down below seriously how cool is that be? even just like a mini one and you can like cook pancakes and just eggs and like I think that'd be so we've always talked about that ever yeah. since we were married we were like this would be so cool to have one in our, your house oh super cool Mindy so for those of you who do not know my sister-in-law Mindy from this is how we Bingham she has one and it's awesome so she has one yeah it's an electric one but still oh, cool the brittle <laughs> yeah whatever same okay. thing <laughs> I'm like I don't remember a hibachi grill in their house yeah yes. it's a griddle whatever yeah, those are <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be the same. <laughs> and then after we have dinner, you guys, we actually got a hotel room. We're doing a little staycation this weekend, which is mm. going to be super fun. Yeah, we were actually really excited for it. And then we have some really fun plans for tomorrow as well. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you guys, we're excited for tonight. Come along, come hang out with us. If you're not subscribed to our channel already, hit that subscribe button. Come join our family. We have a lot of fun and a lot of exciting things coming up. So should we go in and get some yummy food? You guys, this is the place where they throw shrimp in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're going to catch it? Yes. If you guys think Brittany's going to catch it, comment down below. Or if you think I'm going to catch it. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't have the best coordination, you guys. Oh my gosh. I got this in the bag. Let's head I in. got this. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> All right guys, the restaurant that we're eating at is actually right across the street from Lehigh Roller Mills. Comment down below what movie you think was filmed here. I'll give you a hint. It was a dancey movie and it's very, very famous. dinner which was really delicious it was really good but we always do the same thing every time we go there where we order way too much we eat with our <laughs> eyes but we are at our hotel room you guys which this is kind of fun we're doing a little staycation this weekend sweet little Finn is back with my sister and her family so that's super nice of them to watch him for us we're just gonna enjoy tonight and tomorrow and then we are heading up to Lindsay and Jutz from our life in Holland and we are celebrating the twins Ashley and Lando's birthdays as well 
well as turns. So all the three little Bingham boys birthday tomorrow and it's the Super Bowl as well. So they're having the whole family over and it should be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, you guys, we had a really fun night. It did end in a little bit of a scary way. So on the way home from dinner, you guys, we were driving and we almost got in a car accident. It was super close. Our hearts were going, mine still kind of going. It was one of those things where we had to swerve out of the way, but I don't know, it kind of just brought up a lot of memories for us. And it was just, I feel like a good reminder to always tell those around you that you love them. I feel like when things happen like that, when scary moments happen, it puts life into perspective all oh, the time. Oh, totally. I'm sure a lot of you guys know the tragedy that happened with Colby Bryant and his family and all the others that were in that horrible helicopter crash this past week. Just, you never know, you know, when it's gonna be your time and when something could happen. Yeah, it's crazy. Cause like life's so precious, but it also is, can be so quick. So quick. And I feel like, after tonight, it brought up a lot of memories for us because we actually were in a really, really serious car accident about, this was about five years ago. Brittany and I were still dating. Yeah, we were still dating. And we were actually on our way to go look at engagement rings. It was night. that night that it happened. <laughs> uh -huh. And I was driving, we were in my car. And we had just left an activity. Yeah, we had just left. We had pulled out onto the main road from this parking lot. The crazy thing is, you guys, as soon as I get in the car and I turn on the car, I put on my seatbelt. But for whatever reason, I was like talking with Jared and I think I was just giddy, like excited. We were going to look yeah, at engagement Yeah, we're going to go look at engagement rings. It's totally understandable. I was so excited. And anyways, I pulled out of this parking lot onto this main, and it was a busy road. So it was a, it was a highway. So it was like 50, you could go like 50 miles per hour. Yeah. And it was dark, it was nighttime. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I pulled out on that road, I just had a really distinct feeling to put on my seatbelt. And I was like, oh yeah. So I put on my seatbelt and we're driving this way. And it was like a two lane road. So like two lanes on this side, the middle lane, and then I guess a four lane road. Yeah. Two plus two is four. <laughs> <laughs> so it's two lanes on each side and then the middle lane. So we were in the left-hand lane driving north and you guys, kid you not, less than two minutes after we pulled onto the road. Maybe even less than that, it was really quick. It was really quick. So we were just driving and literally out of nowhere, a car heading the opposite direction. So we're coming this way and a car coming this way, literally turned left right in front of us. Like they didn't stop in the middle lane, they just took a left right in front of us onto a little side street. Like it wasn't a light, it wasn't anything. No, it, they were just trying to make the turn before we got there. Imagine just an oncoming car hurrying, turning right in front of you. Of course, I had no time to even break. We were going at least 50 and we just nailed into him on my side. The impact was so forceful that witnesses behind us said that our car went five feet up in the air. Yeah, the back tires, like it flipped, like when we hit, our car went up and then it spun. It spun, yeah. And it spun over to the right. So we were in the far left lane and it spun all the way over to the shoulder on the right side of the road. Yeah, it went far. And I will never forget that sound that it made. It was just so loud. Yeah. It was just so quick. And I just remember like opening my eyes and I had never been in a car wreck like that before. And I remember the airbags went off and luckily I had airbags all around us on the sides and on the front. I just remember opening my eyes and it was so like misty from the airbag dust. But I thought it was smoke. So I thought the car was on fire. And I just yeah. remember Jeremy like, Britt, Britt, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, are you okay? And my arm, my entire left arm was just in a ton of pain. I thought I had broken it for sure. And yeah. I was like, Jared, we gotta get out of here. Cause literally I thought the car was on fire. Guys, I still get the chills when I tell this story cause it, it's just crazy that we survived this. But I opened up the car door and I remember just like falling, like I didn't even have the strength to like stand. And I was just trying to get away from the car. So I'm like crawling out from the car cause I thought like it could maybe explode or in that moment you just don't really know. I just yeah. thought smoke, car, gasoline, we need to get away from the car. So it was a guy driving the other car and his wife was in the passenger seat and she was pregnant. Yeah, I can't well. imagine taking that risk when your wife is pregnant. Yeah. 
it was really really scary but luckily they were okay their car was really banged up too i didn't realize how bad the accident actually was until i took a look at the front of the car yes you guys and when officers arrived and like an ambulance came and everything the officer told us you know what that seatbelt saved your life like if you guys were not wearing seatbelts you would have been totally out the windshield dead for sure isn't that crazy and Brittany had that distinct feeling to put on her seatbelt right before it was just it's crazy it's crazy i also heard someone say the most accidents happen near where you live when you least expect it but you guys it was really scary after that we went and both got checked out i got shoulder scans and arms my wrist my hand was just so swollen from the impact jared actually was admitted to the er and then he stayed in the hospital overnight it was super scary they thought he had some internal damage from the seat belt they thought it like you lacerated the inside of my stomach said like that can be super dangerous like septic shock and different things like yeah that. so i was actually in the emergency room with like a dozen doctors around me yeah it was getting ready to operate on me it was super scary we are so grateful that it could have been so so much worse i'm sure everyone knows someone who's either been seriously seriously injured in a car wreck or has it's been fatal i know i do and i think it, it's really common so we just count our blessings that it was not any worse because it could have been so so much worse i did tear some things in my shoulder and i was in physical therapy for several months still have issues with my shoulder but that in comparison to what could have happened to us. Yeah, it's like it's like a blessing to have that. You know, make sure you tell those around you how much you love them and appreciate them and never miss an opportunity for that because you never know when it's gonna be the last time. Anyways, I know this is kind of different from our regular happy joking vlogs, but <laughs> we are just super grateful for tonight. We feel really blessed that we did not get in that accident, that we've survived this other accident, and if anything else, seatbelts save life, so take that five seconds to click in your seatbelt because you oh, never know. totally worth it. Yeah, wear your seatbelt. If any of you guys have been in a car accident or have sh stories where you know you were super blessed, share them down below. We would love to hear them. I feel like it's always really touching to hear other people's stories when it comes to scary events like that and it just helps us all remember what's most important. So we'd love to hear your stories as well. And speaking of family, we want to do our fam faves now. Yes, because we love you and we want to tell you how much we love you. So for any of you guys that are new to our channel, we do our fan faves and basically what it is is that we pick our favorite comments from the last YouTube video that we did as well as the last Instagram post that we did. So if you guys are not subscribed, definitely subscribe now, turn on the notification bells. And if you're not following us over on Instagram, go check us out at Jared and Britt and go give us a follow. Yes. Our last video was our grocery haul video, which if you have not seen that, go check it out. We had a ton of fun at an amazing grocery store. Mine is from Miss Daphne S. And she said, love the vlog. Does it sound stupid when I say now I feel like flying all the way from Holland to the USA to go <laughs> grocery shopping? Haha. -ha. Have a lovely week. Can't wait for the next vlog. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's very cool. Seriously, Daphne, all the way from Holland. How Thank about you. we switch places? We'll come to Holland and shop. <laughs> You come to Utah and Seriously, <laughs> seriously. But that's awesome. Thank you. And my fan fave is from Rose Visor. Rose says, try the goat milk. It's delicious. And yes, milk taste testing sounds fun. <laughs> you guys, so many of you were like, yes, do a milk taste test challenge. So I think we're going to do that next week. That could actually be a lot of fun. So maybe I will try the goat milk, you guys. We'll see if we can kind of guess that. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And over on Instagram, our fan fave is Miss Margie Ryan. And she said, yes, I love his laugh. And he is just a great all around guy. <laughs> he seems like a special kind of man and you're blessed <laughs> to have him. Seriously, I am blessed to have this guy, you guys. I know we joke around a lot and tease, but so, so, I'm so, so lucky to have such a good husband. Hey, so. I'm lucked out with her. I tell her that all the time. I thought you were going to say a joke and make something cheesy, but he was sweet. Yeah, she must have been blind when she married me. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> Alright, you guys, that is going to do it for us tonight. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see the fun that we had with the fam. We want all you guys to know that we love you, and we want you guys to stay safe, and please wear your seatbelts because they do save lives. And go tell someone that you love that you love them as well. Yes, totally. Hey, guys, we love you, and we will see you tomorrow. See you guys. Have Bye. Bye.